YouTube, the Beast 96901 and today I'm going to be doing an overview on the iOS 6 Gold Master or the one every the public has, not a beta. I did use the beta. Um but that's besides the point. Um here it is, the Gold Master overview, overview for the iPhone 4S. Um, so, preview, it is the iPhone 4S. There's Siri. And here, I'll go to prove I'm on iOS 6. Software update, iOS 6. I'm not going to show you the about my phone because just no point. But it is on the Gold Master, I can assure you of that. I did not put the beta on my iPhone. Had it on my iPad, but it doesn't even matter. I now have that on the Gold Master as well. That's not in this video, so back to the iPhone 4S, guys. Let's start off with the new Maps app. Okay, a lot of people have been disliking this, I guess, and um, I personally haven't used it other than just to use the 3D in skyscraper mode. That's really it. I really don't use it. I haven't used turn-by-turn -turn navigation, though I've heard it's terrible in this. That's just what I heard, not my opinion. I'm not really going to say if it's good or bad, because I haven't used it. Um, but anyways, it looks a lot like Google Maps. Works a lot like it. But down here is a 3D button, and it just makes it look 3D. But it's not imp that impressive. I mean, it's okay, but it still looks... It, it kind of looks messed up. But if you go to, like, somewhere like... There's certain places that only can do this. But if you go to New York City, New York, New York, um, you get in and you see this little skyscraper button. Tap right, right there. Tap it, and it just becomes amazing. You can see New York, and like, like you're in an airplane or a so, like airplane helicopter flying over the city it's just amazing I really like this feature but besides that I just to look at stuff in skyscraper mode I don't use this app um, I just don't don't know how good it is let me know in the comment section below what you think of the maps app um, yeah let me know I'd love to hear what you think um, what some problems are that you found you know just let me know about the app Okay, so let's get on to the next thing, Passbook. It's a new app. It always comes up a little bit blurry on here. All right, there we go, guys. As you can see, it, you can use boarding passes, tickets, store cards, or coupons on here. I don't have it set up. I don't. I haven't used this yet. But I know P, uh, one of my friends. He's uh, set up baseball tickets on it. And he said it worked like a charm. He said it was awesome. I know a couple people that use store cards on it. I haven't heard anybody use a boarding pass on it. But I'm sure it works fine. Uh, coupons. I have never seen anybody use a coupon on this before. Um, but it's fairly new. So, but anyways, all you have to do to get it set up is go into the app store, download one of the couple, one of the like I think there's like ten apps um, that Apple has set up to help you put stuff in here on the app it's pretty cool anyways on the next thing let's um, get in the notification center because this is a really cool new feature you could get it in previous versions but you'd have to jailbreak finally Apple has put in another jailbreak like tweak type thing into their actual OS finally so just pull down the notification center as you can see I don't remember if these, the weather and the stocks, were in the iPhone 5, or not the iPhone 5, iOS 5 um, notification center. I had my iDevice jailbroken a lot, downloaded a lot of stuff. Um, so I don't know. As you can see, I ha obviously haven't set up my location yet. It's okay, though. Um, anyways, new couple new features, tap to post and tap to tweet. I mainly use tap to tweet. To, to post to my Twitter, which is at the Beast Nine Six Nine Zero One, you should follow me on there. Get all the latest news on my channel. But anyways, all you do is tap to tweet, comes up, and you can type in what you want to say and send, and it'll go directly to your Twitter. 
And the cool thing is, you don't even need to have the Twitter app installed. As you can see, I don't have Twitter installed anywhere on here. So, um, that's a really cool feature. Um, lets you post to Twitter. And um, you don't even need to have the app installed, which is really cool. Um, so, on to the next thing. The iTunes and App Store were redesigned on the inside. They kind of look like, they look a lot like they do on the um, computer or PC or Mac or whatever. They look a lot like they do on there. So here, I'll just open up iTunes. As you can see, it's a lot different. It's just, it's, I don't even know. It's like slicker, cleaner. And here's the, or the um, App Store. New apps for the iPhone 5. I looked at the iPhone 5, guys, by the way, and really and truly, there wasn't much difference other than the bigger screen and the 4G. It just, I wasn't too impressed in person. You know, on paper, it sounded good and everything, but then I read about some of the problems. I don't know. I just, I don't know. It wasn't, in my personal opinion, you know, I just wasn't too impressed with it. It was cool. Don't get me wrong, guys. I liked it, but it just wasn't worth the extra money, I would say. Um, that's just me. Um, for all you lucky users who do have the iPhone 5, sure, you know, you're lucky. But um, I didn't think it was worth it. Just didn't. I didn't see it. Um... The 4S is almost the same. Now, if you were from the 4, the 5, I could see it. But anyways, I'm getting off topic, guys. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, I'm sure some of y'all disagree, but... Anyways, beside the point. Um, anyways, iPhone 5 is cool. Don't get me wrong. One of the least favorite things I will say that I did not like is that the black one does scratch on the back. Kind of a bummer, but... Anyways iPhone 5 is cool and everything, but let's get back to the iOS 6. Um, now, the music app was also redesigned on the inside. I can get it open. You can see I have LMFAO up here, but it's a lot different. It's black on the inside. It's really nice. Let's play a little bit. So, there you go. Um, it's a really nice app. When you get out of here, it's all white, but um, anyways, it doesn't even doesn't matter um it's really cool now let siri's got a few new features that's really cool um i believe it could say that what the weather was like in the previous ios but i'm not completely sure can't remember but you can also send tweets from it siri and stuff but um one of the biggest things that's new is it deals with sports and movies now so let's talk to siri a little bit here and see if she's willing uh talk to us today and help us out and everything. Hello, Siri. Good afternoon, Nick. As you can see. Alright, so let's first ask Siri about movies, alright? Siri, what are some good movies? That is a very subjective question. Here's what others have found to be the best movies. Alright. So you can see, it can't say what, it, what the best movies are, because it's just, it really can't do that. But, pulls up some of the highest ranked videos, like as you can see over here, 100 to 100. Um, pretty cool. And then you just click on one. Um, go down, you can read about it, or buy or rent on iTunes. It's pretty cool. And then, now let's talk to it about sports, okay? Let's see. Let me see. Who is leading the NFL in most touchdowns this season? I'm afraid I can't answer that. So some questions it can't answer. Let's see. Who are the Georgia Bulldogs playing this weekend? has some problems sometimes with college football. That's one thing I have found. Um, takes a little while with college football, too. But it works. It gets some pretty cool stuff on here. 
Let's just see if it's willing to work with us today. The Bulldogs play the game Cox on Saturday at 7 p.m. There you go. It's pretty cool. All right, let's see. What are the Southeastern Conference standings in college football? Okay, these are the rankings for the Southeastern Conference. You can see it pulled right up. Go to Bulldogs leaving 5-0. and Go Dogs. Big Bulldogs fan, in case y'all don't know. Um, is there playing the Gamecocks? That's going to be a really good game, guys. Um, and it pulled up the whole SEC Conference standings, which is really cool. So now let's get on to, let's see, let's go to baseball. Who are the Atlanta Braves playing next? The Braves play the Pirates today at 7.05 p.m. Okay. Let's see. Who has the best batting average on the Atlanta Braves? Takes a little while sometimes, guys. Like I said, my series is a little slow sometimes. It's my internet connection. Not always the best, but it works. It's just Nick, here we go. we've had a problem. Can you please try that again? Alright, sometimes it's not gonna work. Who has the best batting average on the Atlanta Braves? Martin Prado leads the team with a batting average of three oh two this season. So as you can see, and it also pulls up, I think, to, yeah, top five batting average, or the players with the best batting average. Martin Prado's up top. Okay, now let's see. What are Martin Prado's stats? Here's Martin Prado. Right, there's his stats from this year, or some of them. Um, anyways... What are the Atlanta Braves scores from this year? Okay, sports fans, let's take a look. Here's what's coming up for the Braves is scheduled for September 5th, 2012 through today. So you can see it pulls up all the Braves game scores um, from this season. And it also shows the game that's happening today I guess um, so guys um, this also works for basketball but I'm not gonna go into that this video is getting kinda long um, works for NFL too um, you however cannot ask Siri about college football player stats it just doesn't work for me don't know about you guys but it doesn't work for me anyways guys thanks for watching um, Please like, rate, subscribe in the video. Comment in the comment section below about what you thought of the video. Um, comment about what you think about some of the new features. You know, I just love hearing what you guys have to say. Um, so spread the word about my channel, guys. Tell everyone you know I'm trying to reach um, 300 subscribers. And um, uh, like, rate, subscribe. And follow me on Twitter, guys, at TheBeast96901. I got really cool stuff on there. I'm on there all the time posting. And I have news about my channel, new videos that I'm working on, all kinds of stuff. So follow me on there. And um, like, rate, subscribe, guys. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace!